Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the developer options so you can install third party applications on your Roku device. And this is really easy. Now let's go over to my remote and we want to press the home button three times. So you press the home button three times, then up twice, then right, left, right, left, right. And you'll be able to unlock the developer options. So we have to do this kind of quickly. Once again, it's home three times, up twice, right, left, right, left, right. Now let's go over to my Roku and I'll enter that in. So home three times, one, two, three, up twice, one, two, right, left, right, left, right. And then you'll be brought to the screen where it says the developer application installer allows developers to test their own applications to enable the installer, select enable installer and restart below. Now make sure you write down this IP number right here and then also the username because we're gonna need to type this in a web browser later on. So let's go to enable installer and restart. Then here's a security warning. Installing and running applications from unknown sources may put your device and data at risk. By selecting and continue, you agree you are solely responsible for any damages. Okay, so let's go to continue. And here is the developer tools license agreement. You can read through here if you really want. So just press okay, and then it will automatically go on down to agree. Now go ahead and put a develop it web server password. So let's come up with a password and just put it on my Roku device. Then go to set password and reboot. So the development mode has been unlocked. All right, so now on our computer, let's take that subnet IP and type it in a web browser. Now I'd suggest open up something where you don't have any ad blockers. So Google Chrome, I have ad blockers on, so it's not gonna just pop up for me. So I'm gonna open up Microsoft Edge on the bottom here, then type in that number, the IP number on the URL. So mine is 192.168.1.1. And then yours is going to be a little bit different than mine, but when you press enter, this little white box should appear. Then type in Roku dev. Then type in the password that you created before. So mine is this. Then go to sign in. Then you can save your password if you want. It's up to you. And here is the development application installer. So from here, you can upload files to your Roku, you can install with Squash, FS, install with Zip, etc. Did indeed help you out, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.